How's it going, guys? Um, <clears throat> another NHL 14 video for you, and this is going to be about my Florida Panthers BGM. And I just want to show you uh, my uh, lineup here. It is two, uh, two, two thousand, uh, 2019. So it's about like six years in, and uh, or no, seven years in, I think. Um, yeah, this is going to be, I think, my seventh year, and, uh, I just want to show you my team, uh, view lines, um, so we got Zach Parisi, Jonathan Huberdeau, Jonathan Druin, Taylor Hall, Matt Duchesne, Jordan Eberle, Alex Kalorn, Casey Sezikis, Matt Fratton, Thomas Hurdle, Jay Wright, I don't know his first name, because I just picked him up, uh, off of uh, free agency and Riley Nash, Jay Wright. I'm actually gonna hold up here. Oh, why did I just click? Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry, screwing up here. Edit lines. There we go. I'm gonna go down to this guy, Jay Wright. Who's this guy? James Wright. Okay, James Wright. Uh, slap shot power is 92 and wrist shot power is 88. So, just the accuracy is not the greatest. You got um. He's got all right defense. His stick checking and shot blocking are pretty good. And he's an all right player. He's good for the fourth line. And then we have defense is Dmitry Kulikov, Justin Schultz, Jake Muzzin, Justin Falk, Tori Krug, and Eric Goodbranson. Goalies is Eddie Lack and Alex Debo. Okay, he's only a 67 overall. And that's the reason I have him is because um, uh, <clears throat> I had Peter Mrazek as a backup, which he's like an 80 back, 80 overall backup. But in the off season, he did not end up signing with us, and it was like the last day. I waited to like the last day to re-sign him, and yeah, he didn't sign with us, so I didn't get a goalie because it was the last day, so I couldn't sign another goalie. But, uh, oh, well, I'm going to try to pick another goalie up here soon. So there's the team, and, oh, and um, I had um, Jason Pominville for my second-line center, and I had uh, Jonathan Druin playing left wing, and Jordan Eberle playing right wing first-line uh, center, and then Zach Brise was down one line helping out the second line a little bit more. And, uh... Uh, unfortunately, Jason Pominville just retired, so I had to fill his spot in here. Uh, I really wish he didn't re retire, because, man, that we lost a lot of stuff there. Lost a lot of, uh, yeah, he was good. He had a lot of points for me, so, I don't know, bad loss there. So I got, uh, Dauphin here. This is, uh, Lauren Dauphin. I saw on... 2C Productions thing that he's going to get good, so I traded for him. And I should put him up to the first line. I'll do that later. But I want to show you Stat Central and Awards. So there we are, back to back Stanley Cup champions. Um, <coughs> the reason we won uh, last year is because it was Game 7. Okay, I wanted to uh, record this, but. Unfortunately, my brother was in the room, and he was sitting right next to me playing Call of Duty, so he was really loud, and there would have been no way of me talking to you guys with his, him right here, uh, yelling at the TV, and <laughs> I don't know, just being weird. So, it was Game 7, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, Game 7, first period, uh, Jonathan Druin scored... And then second period, um, I forgot who it was, but the one of the other uh, players scored to tie the game at one to one. And then uh, Jonathan Druin scored in the third, and some other guy on the other team scored. So it was two to two going into the third period. No one scored the third period, and then overtime came around. It was still tied two to two, and um, no one scored during that. 
and um, then it goes to the second overtime, and Jonathan Druin finishes it off with a hat trick, winning the Stanley Cup, three to two over. Uh, who was it over? I I don't know. I forget. Sorry, but uh, yeah, it was crazy. All three goals were by uh, Jonathan Druin, so I don't know. I might have to change the cap captaincy over to him. I don't know. It's uh, I think it's at uh, Jonathan Huberto right now. But I don't know if he keeps that up. It was amazing. I was going nuts. I was like, oh my god, Jonathan drew it. Just freaking out because he got a hat trick. So that happened, and Eddie Lack finished the game with 49 saves out of the 51 shots against. He only let in those two goals. It was nuts. So he was definitely the first star of the game with 49 saves. It's ridiculous. So... Stanley Cup, we're just going to look through here, President's Trophy, you, can, you guys can see that, I'm going to point out the stuff that we get, so there's Florida Panthers, Prince of Wales Trophy, two years in a row, and then we have Art Ross, uh, the year 2015-2016 uh, was Jordan Eberle, so we have him, that's good, and then Jordan Eberle again for the Hart Memorial Trophy, the 2015-2016 or 2015, year. Um, nope, don't have any of those players. Uh, Jonathan Huberdeau and Jonathan Druin. Uh, the Lady Bing. Um, Alexander Barkov, I had him, but I traded him to get Jonathan Druin. Yeah, call me crazy, but Alexander, Alexander Barkov right now is only like a 70-something, I believe. Maybe an 80. But Jonathan Druin has been like an 89 the past, like, three years, I think. So, he helped me through, like, the last, like, three years, and before that he was like an 82, and then an, he went, I think he, what was it, I think he was like a 70-something or an 80 when I actually picked him up, so, only like two years, two or three years, he was already like on the first line of my team, so, I believe that was a good trade. <coughs> Con Smythe, Eddie Lack, both years, <coughs> last two years, excuse me, um, uh, nope, none of those, uh, none of those, none of those, Eddie Lack, the Ted Lindsay Award, Eddie Lack, two years, 2015, 2016, 2016, 2017, uh, Jonathan Druin, Maurice Richard, 20, er, 2018, 2019, so last year, uh, and then, yeah, that's it, but, um, let's see here, we're gonna go, player stats, season, Oh, wait, no. I was going to see. I forgot how to. No, I, I don't think this is the right thing. <coughs> Excuse me. It is, um. I'm trying to figure out. <coughs> the player's stats or whatever that I can show you the last couple years of what they've done. Maybe coaching options, maybe, maybe edit lines. And then click on. Over, there we go. Season stats. All right. So Jonathan Druin. We're gonna go with points. Um, here we go. The last uh, look. He had 89 points. He had 52 goals and 37 assists last year. That's ridiculous. And then he had 79 points and 82 points. And in the playoffs, he had 23 points for us last year and 26 points the year before. Sezikis, we just picked him, <coughs> picked him up. Um, <coughs> here we go, Justin Schultz. Uh, no, I'm just gonna do Parisi. Um, oh, I guess he didn't play. I just picked him up too. Um, we're gonna go with uh, Jonathan Huberdeau here. We'll get him. Jonathan Huberdeau had 83 points during the season and 19 points. Last playoff run. Thomas Hurdle, look at that, six goals, and he's only like a 70-something overall. Taylor Hall, 10 points in the playoffs, and 62 points during the season. Um, Eberle, 74 points during the season, and 14 points during the playoffs. Duchesne, 14 points during the playoffs, and 58 points during the season. I think that's oh yeah, that's all the players I'm gonna show you. Um 
so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my team and show you those stats and tell you what happened in last year's playoffs. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go try to pick up a goalie and then do some simulating until the playoffs. And I think I'll, I think I'll record the playoffs when I get around. Which that video probably won't be out in like a day or two or something like that. So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Alright, see you later.